I received a package all the way from New Zealand. It came from Barry at MRP, and he specializes tuning 4AGE engines. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Ooh, look at that. This, this must be the coil on plug conversion. Looks like we got four plugs and a connector. Ah, here's the, the harness. This is the patch harness. This is what's gonna let me tie in the ECU with the existing wiring harness in the car. Is, this is, what is this? Looks like this is the wideband oxygen sensor. Yep, it is indeed an oxygen sensor. Oh, this must be, yep, this is the brain. The Link ECU. Let's look this out. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. So I got the Link ECU, the G4X series, and it's the Atom X. The Link ECU is quite popular in New Zealand and Australia. And I figured I'd give them a try since a lot of people tune for AGEs over there. And Barry at MRP says he's had very good success with them as well. These must be the coil on plugs. Ho oh, ho, yes they are. I got one, two, three, four. Let's see, what's this guy here? Ah, this must be the distributor cover. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Distributor cap cover. It's got the MRP logo lasered in. Man, that looks pretty sharp. All right, what else we got in here? Ah, I see. This is the mounting plate for the coil on plugs. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That's so nice. That looks fantastic. I can't wait to put this stuff in the Corolla. I'm gonna do a compression check on all four cylinders before I install the ECU, just to see if there's any issues on that side. I know we discovered there are some issues with the fuel injectors, so this kind of is another check just to make sure everything else is ready to go. So to do the compression test, I'm gonna pull the fuse for the fuel pump, and then I'm gonna pull out each individual spark plug and do a compression test. The first thing I'm going to start with is removing the spark plug wires and the distributor cap. Spark plug wires going away. Distributor cap going away. Igniter going away. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Awesome to get rid of this older stuff and get with the times.
from the 4AGE 20 valve blacktop. It's for the manual transmission, uh, which I believe makes it so that way it retards the timing every time you uh, do a gear change, just to try to save the transmission. So you end up losing a little bit of power there. So how is all this stuff gonna work? Well, as you can see, the factory ECU and the harness patch kit that I got from MRP, the, the connectors match right up. So which means that the stock harness will be able to plug right into this, which will then convert it over to the link ECU connection, which will pop into there. And then this CAN bus connector, that's gonna be ultimately connecting the wideband oxygen sensor from Bosch. However, these two do not connect directly. So there needs to be a device that goes in between, and that's something I still need to look into and find. I'll, I'll put in the description which one I ultimately go with. All right, well, let's get the new ECU installed. I went with for the white band controller. This is what's going to go in between the white band oxygen sensor and the ECU. This sensor controller is going to take the signal coming from the oxygen sensor and turn it into something that the standalone ECU can actually read. Another oxygen sensor, hot dog. Now I'm going to have a backup just in case I need it. So there's the plug that we're looking for. I needed this plug to come in with this plug here. Excellent. those right. So after a lot of trial and error, making sure I had fuel, making sure I had spark, it turned out that it was the timing. So the offset was one rotation off. So even though I was getting the correct timing flashed on the crank, it was one rotation off. So it was igniting at the wrong time. So now that it's starting, I can set the correct offset and then we can lower the car and take it for a drive. Here's where I'm at with the ECU install and the coil and plug conversion. So I got the car starting now and most of it seems to be working. However, I did find a little issue here, and that issue is the tack is not working. So with this older tachometer, it does require a special kind of signal where it comes from the distributor and the igniter. The igniter spikes a voltage, and that's how the tack reads the signal. So the way to make that work, uh, we'll figure it out. I got some stuff ordered, but that'll be in part two. But for now, just giving you guys an update. Car started, coil and plugs are working, and the next step is gonna be cleaning up the wiring and getting the tachometer to work. Alrighty, until next time.